Good morning, kids! Welcome to our class. I am Teacher Frel, your teacher in Math 2, Quarter 3, Week 5 to 6. Our lesson for today is about fraction. Let's read this problem solving. Pauline, together with her three group mates, baked a pizza in their practical arts class. They divided the pizza into four equal parts. What part did each of them eat? Let's illustrate the problem. Into how many parts did the children divide the whole pizza? One, two, three, four. How many parts of pizza did each children eat? Each child ate one-fourth of the pizza pie. One-fourth is called a fraction. It is read as one-fourth. Fraction is a part of a whole. The numerator tells the number of shaded parts or parts taken. The denominator tells the number of equal parts into which the whole is divided. The line between the numerator and the denominator is called fraction bar. For example, one-fourth. One is the numerator. It is the number above the fraction bar. And four is the denominator. It is the number below fraction bar. And this line is fraction bar. Let's try the following examples. Into how many parts was the square divided? Can you count? Correct! It is divided into four parts. How many parts were shaded? Correct! The shaded parts are three. The fraction is three-fourth or three-fourths. Another example. The whole was equally divided into three parts. There was one shaded part. So the fraction is one-third or one-third. What is the fractional number of the given shape? Correct! One-half. One is the shaded part. And two is the number of parts from a whole. Let's try this. Write the fraction for the shaded part. How do you write the fraction for number one? Correct! One-third. Number two. The fraction is one-fourth. Number three. The fraction is two-fourth. Number four. The fraction is three-fourth. Number five. The fraction is one-fourth. Number six. The fraction is one-half. Number seven. The fraction is one-half. Number eight. The fraction is two-fifths. That is how to write the fraction. First, you're going to look at the shaded part, then count how many parts it is divided. Next, write the fraction for the word. Number one. Anna erases one half of the chalkboard. So the word one half is written like this. One half. Number two. Lina cuts three-fifths of the ribbon. The word three-fifths is written like this. Three-fifths. Number three. Karen eats two-fourths of a pizza. The word two-fourths is written like this. Two-fourths. Number four. Edna uses one-fifth of tube paint. The word one-fifth is written like this. One-fifth. Beth shades one-eighth of the paper. The word one-eighth is written like this. One-eighth. Number six. Lou serves two-thirds of a cake. The word two-thirds is written like this. Two-third. Number seven. Jake spends four-fifths of his daily allowance. The word four-fifths is written like this. Four-fifths. And number eight, Jerry paint three-fourths of a wall yellow. The word three-fourths is written like this. 
3 fourth. Now, let's study about comparing fractions. Study the rectangles cut into equal parts, one half and one third. One half of the rectangle is bigger than one third of the rectangle. We say one half is greater than one third, or we write one half greater than one third. As you can see, the shaded part of one half is greater than the shaded part of one third. Next. 2 6 and 3 6. 2 6 of the rectangle is less than 3 6 of the rectangle. We say 2 6 is less than 3 6. We write 2 6 less than 3 6. As you can see, the shaded part of 2 6 is less than the shaded part of 3 6. That is why 2 6 is less than 3 6. Now, encircle the greater fraction. Number 1. Which is greater, 3 6 or 1 6? Correct. The greater fraction is 3 6. Number 2. Which is greater, 7 8 or 2 8? Correct. The greater fraction is 7 8. Number 3. Which is greater, 2 4 or 3 4? Correct. The greater fraction is 3 4. Number 4, which is greater? 5 7 or 4 7? Correct. The greater fraction is 5 7. Number 5, which is greater? 7 10 or 5 10? Correct. The greater fraction is 7 10. And number 6, which is greater, 5-9 or 3-9? Correct! The greater fraction is 5-9. Now, check the fraction which is less. Then write the symbol less than or greater than in the box. Number 1. 3 4 and 1 4 Which fraction is less? Correct! One fourth because it has only one shaded part. And the symbol for this is greater than because three fourth is greater than one fourth. Number two, two six and three six. Which one is less? Correct! Two six. And the symbol for this is less than. Because 2 6 is less than 3 6. Number 3. 4 8 and 6 8. Which one is less? Correct. 4 8. And the symbol for this is less than. Because 4 8 is less than 6 8. Number 4. 4 5 and 3 fifth. Which one is less? Correct. 3 fifth. And the symbol for this is greater than because 4 fifth is greater than 3 fifth. Now, let's study about arranging fraction in increasing or decreasing. What can you say about the sizes of the pieces of paper? Name the shaded part of each piece of paper. The first piece of paper is 1 half. The second piece of paper is 2 third. And the third piece of paper is 1 fourth. Let's arrange them from smallest to biggest. So the smallest shaded part is 1 fourth. Next to 1 fourth is one half and the biggest is two third another example what can you say about the sizes of the pieces of paper name the shaded part of each piece of paper this is three fourth 
This is one fourth. And this is one half. Let's arrange them from biggest to smallest. So look at the shaded part, which is biggest. The biggest shaded part is 3 fourth. Next is 1 half. And the smallest fraction is 1 fourth. That is how to arrange biggest to smallest. Arrange from smallest to biggest by numbering 1, 2, and 3. Number 1. One third, one fourth, one half. Let's arrange them from smallest to biggest. The smallest is one fourth. Next to one fourth is one third. And the biggest is one half. Number two, two third, three fourth, and one half. Smallest is one half. Next is two third. The biggest is three fourth. Number three, one fifth, four fifth, and two fifth. The smallest is one fifth. Next to it is two fifth. And the biggest is four fifth. So this is how to arrange the fraction from smallest to biggest. Now let's arrange the fraction from biggest to smallest by numbering 1, 2, and 3. 1 third, 1 fourth, and 1 half. So the biggest is 1 half. Next is 1 third, and the smallest is 1 fourth. So, this is how to arrange from biggest to smallest. Number 2, 2 third, 3 fourth, and 1 half. The biggest fraction is 3 fourth. Next to it is 2 third. And next to it is 1 half. Number 3, 1 fifth, 4 fifth, and 2 fifth. The biggest fraction is 4 fifth. Next to it is 2 fifth. And then the smallest is 1 fifth. So that is how to arrange the fraction from biggest to smallest. Now it's time for your activity. Write fractional parts of the given whole. Write your answer in your notebook. Number 1. Number 2. Number 3 Number 4 Number 5 And number 6 You can pause this video Next, write fraction for each of the following Write your answer in your notebook Number 1 3 fourths. Number 2, 1 eighth. Number 3, 4 sevenths. Number 4, 6 ninths. Number 5, 1 tenth. Number 6, 8 ninths. Number 7, 2 thirds. Number 8, 1 half. Number 9, 7 eleven. Number 10, 1, 6. Keep pause this video. Remember kids, fraction is a part of a whole. The numerator tells the number of shaded parts or parts taken. The denominator tells the number of equal parts into which the whole is divided. The line between the numerator and the denominator is called the fraction bar. Example, 1 fourth. 1 is numerator, 4 is denominator, and the line is fraction bar. Kids, did you enjoy our lesson today? So again, we learn about 
fraction. Kids, I hope you learned a lot from our lesson. Until our next topic, bye-bye kids!